to uh, join us here as the uh, popper is just about to reach the top of it in there. I've got a couple of handfuls of bricks in so far and uh, everything's been going quite smoothly. Um, so you can see the output from the, uh, the main brick sorter is dumping out into the trommel and the trommel is sorting bit bits of this red box and little bits of the small red box. Um, <coughs> And uh, here it comes. You can see we're getting off four bits down here. We're putting the uh, the piece on the front of the way. Yeah, we're You can see all the pieces dropping down from the top there. The uh, popper is pretty much empty now. The whole ice cream box is on its way up. We're seeing very, very few pieces ending up down here. And it's, interestingly enough, they're ending up at this end of the tub. Now, I think that might be because uh, they're actually bouncing back and they're falling that back out this way, which is, which is strange. Um, we have to investigate that. Um, this is a uh, very trial fit here. Getting everything to line up properly and they're uh, just bouncing away. We are getting quite a few ending up in the correct caption tub, so that's good. Um, I think these are erroneous. That's not a good sample. We are getting a nice pile there of large pieces. Large pieces and those erroneous ones. There's a shaker. All the way down the conveyor belt. Down that way. And then uh, the output down here is almost 100% of the, uh, the small pieces. We're getting very, very few back out this edge. Maybe not 100%, but very close. I've uh, made a few modifications in here in terms of where the uh, shaker bar is. And we've had two small ones apparently. And we'll take a third one somewhere in this row here. I'm going to come out a few more rounds. Um, but I'm still waiting for that one to turn up. And we'll be look. You can see them coming around there, those yellow pieces. The ones that are just throwing those pieces around and making sure that they're dressing down. I'm getting two full down there. Pipe seems to be my trouble here. Obviously, the buckets are not a permanent fixture. This is a purely a test jig. See how things cope. Um, it does reasonably well with the volume and the speeds. The buckets are just, just working their way around the rings and they come out. Extend the conveyor belt a little bit further this way. Make it easy to pick up and drop off. And I'll try and make sure that my, uh, my hopper is a little bit lower so we can get in there. So. Yeah, all looking pretty good. Last few pieces coming up the uh, conveyor now. Ever will. 
Yeah. And then got the store center, that's the door. I can see we've got a couple of uh, large pieces in the smalls as well. I think those are areas where they've just bounced out and pinged back this way. Um, in the, the final version there'll be a, uh, a final separation between these things, so that shouldn't be possible. But we'll come out to one of these pieces and then that'll be the uh, delineation. This whole thing is just slightly scattered. Just like that. I think that will eventually work my way out. Maybe that's one there. That's what these bars add in terms of their sorting ability. They also subtract slightly in terms of speed. I think we're pretty good for that. Right. We get this broken down and then we'll do a weigh it. That's the best way of figuring this one out. We're going to weigh this up because five different things we need to weigh. We need to weigh the small pieces that landed in here and the big pieces. We need to weigh the big pieces that landed in the small pieces, although I'm fairly confident all those are erroneous. And we also need to weigh um, the smalls there, the smalls there, and the bigs there. There are five fiddles here. So I'm going to do this as scientifically as I can with my kitchen scales. Turn those on. We'll start with these because there's a Five of them. Five. So big and small, three gram. So it's fairly simple. Two gram. Smalls in here. 
like it. Just like that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Ten of those, and I'm pretty sure that these are erroneous as well, uh, although they're not registering any weight. So we'll just write ten times in there. Okay. Those. Let's see how many smalls we had from the trimble. Not actually that many, so you can see. The, uh, the main sorter is very much more efficient for these, uh, but it was letting some through. So it's only... So that's going to be 45 grams. That was 48 grams, so actually this was pretty action. Maybe 3 grams. And I'll, I'll count these in a bit. So now we're on to the sticks. Four hundred and seventy grams of figs. Four seventy four, so a one gram. These scales are not very accurate. Then we're going to do the small from the main sorter. Three hundred and thirty-eight grams. So uh, that is a very interesting set of numbers. So these are very much in the uh, the error sample range. You can bring three grams out of three hundred eighty-six and uh, three grams out of four hundred and seventy-five. Um, the uh, the main sorter obviously incredibly efficient. Um, was that probably sort of seventy or eighty percent efficiency? Um, I've been maths in my head because I'm crap at that. But, uh, it's life. Um, and then the uh, the secondary sort is doing very very well. It's uh, sorting out the bigs. Trom was perfect for that. Um, not to say that the uh, the other sorter isn't perfect for that because there are no big pieces in the smalls from that. So it, it's a hundred percent efficient at, at removing the bigs from a combination. And uh, the smalls that come back through to the trommel are a very small percentage. Of that, um, what was that? Yeah. less than ten percent of the pieces that come through are small. So that would be what five hundred and fifteen grams, which is forty-five. Yeah. So less than ten percent are small from the main source. The main source is ninety percent odd efficient. Um, the other sorter, I am saying. It's almost 100% efficient at the rate that we are feeding it. Um, I'm going to ignore the errors here. I, I pretty much saw, I pretty much sure I saw most of these bounce from the conveyor system before they actually went into the trouble. 
and these have fallen off and bounced back as well. Um, you see any explanation for those. Um, they literally cannot get through the cracks any other way. So uh, I think we have a, a solution here. The next step is to wait for more of my orders to turn up from the brick tank and then I can start building the hoppers that will sit underneath the trommel and that will then uh, finish the hopping off so they will then feed up into these bins uh, with the finished pieces. Then I can move on to find the gold pieces. Well, that's going to be interesting. Hope you enjoy watching. Uh, if you like what you're saying, please subscribe. It incentivizes me to actually do more of this stuff because I enjoy seeing people hit like and subscribe. Um, there are more videos for uh, the build of this machine, its previous incarnation, and all my trials and tribulations on my channel. Um, I'm going to stick some things up here for you now. Thanks for watching.